All right, guys. So let's talk about the people that I follow on Twitter because I use Twitter as a tool, a tool to promote myself. And at the same time, I use it to follow people who I find interesting and follow people who I think can give value to me. Okay. I don't follow people for, you know, motivational quotes. I don't follow people for, you know, little BS videos like, oh, this is what we got to do in life. Like, nah, man, like give me value, right? Give me value. Teach me something or just give me a new skill. Okay. So I got 15 people that I follow, right? And I kind of cleaned it up, right? Because I had a couple of people that I was like, man, why am I even following these people? Like, they're not really giving me any value, okay? So, first of all, I follow Joe Button, right? So, I like hip-hop, I think. <laughs> that shouldn't be a surprise, right? Why I like hip-hop, right? Okay? <laughs> I'm from New York, kid. Okay? You can't get mad at that. Okay? Then from there, I follow Johnny FD. If you guys don't know who Johnny FD is, he's an entrepreneur. He's a guy who did a whole bunch of stuff, like, yo, from the ground up, right? Like, he's successful. He travels the world. And I just like to see what he's up to. I mean, I'm not a drop shipper. I'm not um, somebody who's interested in that. But I'm interested in him as a person to see, you know, what makes him tick. To see, like, how he's feeling that day. See, you know, if he finds something new, like a new move. Because he not only does drop shipping, but he does everything. He creates courses. He uh makes a podcast he makes youtube he makes a whole bunch of things and i like to see what he does you know to see what's out there because sometimes you miss certain opportunities but for whatever reason this guy always finds it first right so i like him for that right i also like uh your boy dame dash if you guys don't know who dame dash he used to be the ceo of uh rockefeller records who was like partner with jay-z whatever is hip-hop right but what i love about him is that he preaches the same things that i preach which is being your own boss making your own money doing what you have to do to get to the top right and at the same time be loyal and be honorable okay just be an honorable person you know and then from there we got you could hear matsumoto which is the creator of ruby the programming language i mean you guys should know ruby is my favorite programming language of all time okay it's very simple very easy you could build application very quick with ruby and i just love it right um at the same time i also have crystal lane because i'm still waiting for version 1.0 right there's so many people that love crystal lane but they're not putting it into production because version 1.0 is not here yet and at the same time i like to know what's going on in the community so i like to follow the official crystal language um well crystal programming language which is crystal language <laughs> at twitter right so like that i get to know what's going on at the same time i like to check out your boy dhh so dhh he's the creator of ruby on rails founder of basecamp a lot of companies use basecamp right uh you know best-selling author you know rework remote you know this guy he's legit man he's legit and then what's cool about him is that he's not like a nerd right like yeah you could be a nerd i'm a nerd right but you can't be a dweeb right so, <laughs> so this is the thing um it's cool to be nerds right it's cool to be smart it's cool to uh do a lot of cool things but it's not cool to be a dweeb it's never gonna be cool to be a dweeb you're not getting a pass right that's how i feel that's how a lot of people feel and it's just it is what it is right uh step your game up but <laughs> this guy is super smart um and yeah he he's very successful and he's just not a dweeb man so i like to follow him see what he's up to okay then from there we have your boy dan abramoff right working on react js co-author of redux you know create react app like most of the things that we use in the front end somehow is related to this guy so this guy he knows what he's doing right you know you don't get facebook calling you out and be like man we want you in our team like you don't get that very often right so that's what they did to this guy because he's a very brilliant and a very smart dude man definitely uh, support him he's legit 
okay uh i also like to check out product hunt okay so product hunt.com if you ever been there is it's a community where you can actually share your startups okay so i don't know if you guys ever seen it it's a very simple site but what makes it cool is that everybody who's creating web applications or even ios android applications who have ideas and startups they come here and they share it to the world and i like to see what other people are building you know i'm an entrepreneur i'm into this stuff right and i always tell you guys man you know you you want to be a boss you never want to get bossed around okay and that's that's what i'm trying to do in life so <laughs> i definitely check out what's going on in the industry and see who's working okay so definitely check out product hunt then from there you have your boy Traverse Media. I like to follow Traverse Media just to see what he's working on, right? I feel like what Traverse Media has done on YouTube and over the years he's been working for a while, and I feel like he's very successful. You know, at some point I want to get to that point of, of like success in YouTube, so I try to learn from him by watching his moves and watching what he does and. You know, even like checking out um, what type of videos do good for him, what type of videos don't do good for him. You know, so like certain things like that, like that's where I come in. I'm like, man, I, I like to check out what he does. I just learn from it. OK, of course, y'all yeah, know I love Kanye West. Kanye West is a legit individual. <laughs> he's a genius. Like it or not, he's a genius. Uh, there's a lot of guys who. Uh, some people want to say, man, they were crazy, but they were geniuses. OK, it is what it is. OK, um, but, you know, not everybody's right all the time. And that's what makes us human beings. OK, so at the same time, I like Kanye was uh, his things that he put up on his uh, Instagram or even here on Twitter is, is legit. I like what he has there. He always has something cool. You know, something that I could be like, okay, cool, he's making some new clothes, or, you know, talking about culture, you know, talking about, you know, love and and uh, supporting each other, you know. It is what it is. I, I really love Kanye West. He's he's the man, okay. Uh, from the same time, we have One Louder Apps. And to be honest, this is, like, one of the things that I follow them, but I just like to see why. <laughs> and what's going on you know i don't know why i just like to to see what the hell they have there but they always retweet retweet something that i haven't seen so i don't know i just like to follow them okay then from there we have team youtube and youtube okay so y'all know i'm a youtuber and i like to know what's going on in the world of youtube so that's why i follow them and we have george bucaran who is the creator of HyperAppJS. I think HyperAppJS is one of the best frameworks out there. So I like to see what they're, they're building over there. Right now, I think HyperAppJS is coming out with a part two, well, version two. So definitely, definitely keep a lookout for that, man. Um, but yeah, man, if you guys have never seen HyperAppJS, I have a course on it. It's completely free. Go to my website, check it out. Okay. Uh, what's cool about HyperAppJS is the fact that it's like React and Redux put together instead of having two different libraries to do the same thing. And it's pretty simple. I mean, this is React and Redux, right? And then this is HyperApp. As you can see, it's way less things and, you know, it's easier to understand so yeah man so that's who i follow on good old twitter you know i try to stay away from the bullshit uh you know people who are putting quotes like i don't even do that like i go to twitter and i post my videos because i know my videos are legit i might drop in a message here and there once in a while but at the same time like i don't want to hear your your shitty quotes i don't want to see your shitty quotes i don't want to see like wake up today and you know, smell the coffee. <laughs> like I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see uh, drama on, on freaking Twitter. I don't want to see like news. I don't care about the news on Twitter. I don't care about none of those things. You know, like I'm more about web development. You know, entrepreneur spirit. Um, what else? And yeah, and YouTube. That's it. That's what I really care about when it comes to Twitter. Okay, so yeah, this is 
who I follow on Twitter and why I follow them, okay? And I do recommend cutting down on the people you follow on Twitter. Like, try not to follow anything more than 20 people because in reality, you're like, man, that's... If you go in and you start following everybody, it's like now you don't... I don't know, like you don't have the right curated list of uh, right people that you should be following. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Like you don't want to be following uh, little Cindy with a fatty and, you know, little Johnny putting money on on the Internet, knowing that he still got to pay his rent. And that's really his rent money. And like, you know, like don't follow those people. Follow people that is really going to get you to the next level. And. <laughs> You know, it's like I see people following like video games and this and that. It's like, bro, come on, man. You you know, you're 40 years old. What you doing for following a video game? Like, come on, man. Step your game up. <laughs> but yeah, man, it is what it is, guys. I love you guys. Definitely subscribe. Make sure you like this video and let me know what you think. I mean, I would like to know who do you follow on Twitter? Should I follow somebody? Um, let me know. I would like to follow some new people. I still got five more people that I could follow. I like to keep it under 20, right? So let me know who should I follow on Twitter that you feel like can go with my vibe. Okay. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And guys, go to my website, codingphase.com if you're looking to learn how to code. Okay. Guys, I'm building this amazing application right now for the MySQL course. Like, literally, go check it out. If you never took MySQL before, you don't know how to build full stack applications, go to my website. You're going to build, like, real projects. Like, this is not BS, little to-do apps. We're building real projects that you can put in your portfolio. All right? So, I'm going to see you guys later. This is your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingPhase.com.